It was a tone-deaf proposal, but the owners of those clubs won't have been able to ignore the near-universal roar of outrage from all parts of the football community over the past 24 hours. This move, indeed, goes against the very spirit of the game. We will not stand by and watch football be cravenly stripped of the things that make millions across the country love it. But, Madam Deputy Speaker, be in no doubt, if they can't act, we will. We will put everything on the table to prevent this from happening. We are examining every option, from governance reform to competition law and mechanisms that allow football to take place. These, if the, the past year has taught us anything, it's that football is nothing without its fans. And these owners should remember that they are only temporary custodians of their clubs and they forget fans at their peril. That's why, over the past few months, I've been meeting with fans and representative organisations to develop our proposals for a fan-led review. I'd always been clear that I didn't want to launch this until football had returned to normal following the pandemic. Sadly, these clubs have made it clear that I have no choice. They have decided to put money before fans. So today, I have been left with no choice but to formally trigger the launch of our fan-led review of football.